dishwasher detergent. Um, that would be like, here, let me grab you something here. This is what we used. This is um, very inexpensive. It's from the dollar store. This is crystal gel. It's an automatic dishwasher detergent. And this is um, the lemon scented one. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but it gets your surfaces really nice and clean for you. It dries really fast. A lot of times it'll take off a layer of um, sealant on it. But the best thing that I like the most about it is that it gives it a nice, clean beginning on a piece. And that really helps you. That's my most important piece of prep in my opinion, especially when going over existing furnish, finishes, is to make sure that you have a residue-free surface to begin your artwork on. Just like you wouldn't want to start doing a piece of art on a dirty canvas full of grease and different things like that. Definitely want to start from a nice clean slate. And when you're picking up a roadside find like this one, it's very important to make sure that you get it thoroughly cleaned. I even took this opportunity to clean the inside of the drawers the inside of the shelves, the whole nine yards. So it is pretty much like a brand new piece of furniture. It's very nice. So as you know, um, this was a two piece. So up here was a big hutch and we went through and took it off. But what we're left with, if you look in here at this countertop, is we have some holes left over from where it was unscrewed. And I'm going to um, try a new product that was sent to me. Um, it's, it's by Fama Wood. Um, it's a wood filler. So this is what they actually use at the cabinet shop down the road from me. Um, and they use it every day. And this is like their go-to product. And apparently this is what all the professional furniture places use. And Eclectic sent me um, this one. This one is in... Um, oak teak color and this is more of a mahogany but we're going to be doing some very bright colors so I'm not too worried about it. One thing that I am worried about is always my health and this is a ventilator. I suggest everyone just go down to any of your hardware stores and grab one. They're very inexpensive but this product here does have harmful vapors so you want to make sure that you protect yourself perfectly and luckily I can still talk when on this because all it covers is my is my nose? Oh, it covers my mouth too. Look at me, I sound like Zach Bagans. <laughs> I like Zach Bagans. Okay, so can they hear me pretty good? All right, here we go. So what you're gonna do is open your can and it's kind of hard to open. All right, and this looks like we need to mix it up a little bit. I can see where some of it's kind of come. It's been sitting for like, almost a year, you guys, so I'm sorry, I haven't used it yet. But I've been really apprehensive because of the vapors. Um, through this, I can't smell anything at all, so I don't know if it really stinks, but I don't want anyone to take a chance of um, getting hurt. All right, so we're gonna get some of this stuff here. Ah! I'm just gonna put it on the lid, because we don't need that much, I don't think, right? All right. Oh, I smell it. You know what it smells like? It smells like um, rubber cement. So let's get some on our thing. And we're just going to go to our holes here. And we're just going to fill our holes in by smashing it down really hard. And then scraping away. Smash down hard. Scrape away. So what the, the guys at the cabinet shop told me why they use this one is because for their jobs, they like to go quickly. And this does not um, shrink or crack. And apparently it's very, it's easy to stain over. So, and paint over. So that's why this is their go-to product for the professionals. But man, this is some stinky stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. It smells like um, rubber cement. Can you smell it, Don? Oh, good. I'm glad because you're not right over it like I am. But man, I can, I can sure smell this stuff. So this is what the professional folks use. Let's get that in there. Woo! Run my finger over it. All right. Get it in here. 
So all of these holes will be filled in. Oh, I don't know if I like it dries so fast. That's one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that it it dries extremely quick. So that's Dawn, a good thing. Don wants to know what the product is again. This is Fama Wood Wood Filler. This is the product that cabinet makers and furniture makers around the world use. This is like kind of a real professional grade hole filler basically for wood and what i'm doing is filling see how fast that dries that's ridiculous maybe you should get some like this and put it in the hole it dries super fast you guys i think that's why they use it besides the fact that it doesn't shrink it just fills in the holes really quick. Ugh. But it does have a scent. I can even smell it right through my respirator. I'm not going to lie. All right. There we go. Getting this last bit here. Oh, there's a nail. That nail's not down all the way, babe. It's all right. There's a crack in the wood here. I'm going to fill it in there too. I'm totally probably not doing this the right way. So again, this is my first time trying to use a filler. I usually just take my stuff down to the cabinet guy down the road and have him put a new top on for me. He just does a real thin veneer and it always works out great. There you go. But if this works out, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be using this product every day or exposing myself to whatever might be harmful about it very often. So. I'm hoping that. Is that someone up front? It's the neighbors. I'm, I'm not used to having neighbors. We got new neighbors in, so I can hear them over there. It's tripping me out. All right. So that's going to obviously drive really fast. Look at that, guys. Can you see that? They practically already dry. And I can tell that I'm going to have to come back and sand, of course. Look how fast that's drying. I guess I know why the, the big guys use it now, huh? Let's see. Here's a spot here. Okay. All right here. All right. Woo! Well, that's over. Thank God. All right. <laughs> I think I dumped this off. I don't want to pour this dried out stuff back into the bucket. Oh, there's no trash can in here. Trash bag. Come on. All right. We're just going to put our lid back on. And seal her up. And it's so crazy. That stuff's already dry. It's insane. It's crazy. I can't believe it's already dry like that. All right. And with it being dry, I don't smell it anymore. Thank God. That was short and sweet, huh? <laughs> but make sure that you guys invest in getting one of these um, respirators. They're always good to have because you never know what you're going to need, especially when working with an old piece like this. So, but you know what? I don't think this piece is really that old because the finish didn't completely strip off. 
I bet you this is from like the 60s or 70s. So usually it'll come off a lot quicker if it's older than the 60s. All right, guys, well, as you can see, we're looking at here. We've got our finish. It was real shiny before, and now it's real dull and a little bit dusty from me sanding the top off. But this real dull finish is gonna make it very, very easy to paint or to stain. Um, so I'm going to let my mind kind of work around itself and think of some other things. I'm kind of feeling that I wanna use my sparkling stain. I have some leftover sparkling stain and I saw a place that was spilled on the, um, on my little, on my furniture carts. We used to put the big 55 gallon drums on here and mix all the different pigments and colors all together to make our um, stains when we were making them by hand. And I kept all of my rollers. Emerald says hi. Hi, Emerald. And uh, one of them spilled and it's beautiful. And I can see where it was this, I don't know, can we even get down here and look at it? Or is it too far? Will this one look at it? No, none of them will look at it? All right, well, nobody can see it but me. But it's a really beautiful cobalt blue, and then I can see where some of the copper spilt on it too. So I think I might go cobalt blue and copper. I think that'll be really beautiful. So what I need to do is let this um, dry. I'm probably gonna let this dry um, overnight and then um, see how this stuff works and then we'll have to sand it again. But I'm definitely gonna take it out of my studio to sand the top and make this all nice because I don't wanna get dust all over my filming equipment. <laughs> like I just did, Don is super mad at me. I just need to stop in here. <laughs> Don, is anybody tuning in or have any questions? Sorry, I couldn't find my thing. Yeah, we got, there's 20 people watching. Okay. Teresa Taylor says hi. Hi, Teresa. Hello. So, all right, guys, um, keep coming with your recommendations on colors and things because you guys might change my mind. Um, if I do do um, sparkling, I might sand this down. I'm going to think about it over the weekend because it is Friday and um, I come back on Monday and I should have some good fresh ideas about what um, colors and you know maybe maybe I was looking through some minerals and some stones and a few of them um, really um, inspired me. I always get inspired from nature. That's that's one of my big things. It's why I did the glass and made it look like granite and and I like nature. Things that come from nature always inspire me. So I'm hoping to make this look like something really cool from nature too. So send me your comments, send me your recommendations. Um, I'll let, we'll follow back up here and then on Monday and I'll let you guys know what I think about this, uh, this, what is this stuff called? Wood hole filler. Wood hole filler? Nail hole filler, wood filler, wood filler by Famo Wood. I think it, I think it's really good. And who knows if I even used it right? You know, that's that's another thing. I'm I'm guilty of not always using everything perfectly. So, until we tune in um, on Friday, keep coming with some suggestions about some colors. I'd really appreciate that. And be good, be blessed, and throughout the weekend, make sure that you let your creative juices flow. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.